Hi everybody. Well, I got a couple of key fobs here for a 2006 Chevy Malibu. These two green ones have the original factory circuit boards in them and the two black ones are ones I just picked up on eBay for about 12 bucks. And the circuit boards are a little bit different, so I hope that doesn't cause a problem. Anyway, I'm gonna be going out to reprogram the car to work with these four key fobs, but on this particular Malibu, you can't program the key fobs without some kind of a scan tool. And since I don't have the original GM factory tool, which is the Tech 2, I'm gonna be using this Autel Maxi Pro instead. But before I go out and do that, I wanna check the batteries in these remotes. In my experience with programming key fobs, one of the most important things during the programming process is to make sure that all the batteries are fully charged. I definitely don't wanna have an issue during the programming process that might mess it up, or more importantly, where I'm not gonna be able to program the key fobs at all. So, really quick, just gonna use my voltmeter to check the batteries and make sure they're charged. And there we go, one that's missing the battery. So I'm gonna have to find a replacement and put it in there before we try to do this. Okay, there we go. Fresh new battery. Pretty cool. Now I can reassemble all these key fobs and grab the scan tool and go out to the car to do the programming. Pretty cool. Well, let's head out to the car. So first we gotta plug it in under the dash. Okay, so we're all set up. I have the scan tool connected to the OBD2 connector under the dashboard. Put the ignition key in, turn it on. Turn the lights off. And power up the Autel. Let's go into service and I'm gonna pick the keys menu, put in the vehicle. Cool, 2006 Chevy Malibu four-door sedan, yes. Let's try hot functions. It's keyless entry, so let's go into there. And it says here, each time a fob is programmed, you need to program all key fobs. To program, press and hold lock and unlock buttons when the tool indicates. You will hear a single chirp from the instrument panel cluster when the key fob is programmed successfully. Proceed to the next key fob and repeat after hearing the chirp. It takes five seconds to program each key fob. Turn the ignition on with engine off. Get all my key fobs ready. I don't know how much dwell time there is in between the programming, but got all four key fobs ready to go. So, time to press OK. Simultaneously press lock and unlock on the key fob and keep them pressed now. Key fob programming active. Continue with the remaining fobs. Press OK when completed. There's number two. Same message. Now the eBay fob. Cool. And finally number four. Hmm. 
and that one beat twice, which I think is because you're only allowed to have four fobs programmed per vehicle, so that probably means that's it, no more fobs. So, programming active, continue with the remaining fobs, press OK when completed. And, uh, I guess that's it. Okay, so now that that's done, let's test out the fobs. We got all four of them here. I'm just gonna test by hitting the lock and unlock. Lock worked. Unlock worked. Try this one. Lock. Unlock. And the eBay fobs. Lock and unlock. And finally, and unlock, took the trunk. Cool. So there you have it. Programming key fobs for a 2006 Chevy Malibu. It's too bad you can't do this without using a scan tool, but at least it can be done. So that's pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.